In this tutorial series, you're going to learn how to add a theme options panel to our WordPress theme. Once you have the theme options panel added to the WordPress theme, we'll be adding these different sections. These sections allow the users to update, manage, and edit all the content within your WordPress theme. So let's go over some of these sections that are going to be added. The first section here is general, and in this general section we have a theme style sheet drop down and also a fav icon image uploader. This theme style sheet drop down includes all the Bootswatch themes to allow the users to easily switch between all 16 different themes. So a quick example, the user changes to the Darkly theme style sheet, saves changes, and reloads the front end. You see that everything gets changed. Change to several different this is an easy way to allow the user to change the style sheet so moving on we have a header section here we have two switches the first one for the fixed navbar notice right now that it's static and it doesn't stay at the top if you enable this option save changes and reload the page, you'll see that the navbar stays fixed to the top. We also have this inverse navbar. If we enable that, this just changed the color to the inverse color for whatever the theme sets. And of course, we have an image upload to allow the users to add a logo to the navbar. That'll be in this area right here. The next section here is the home page. And here we add this home page layout manager with different modules to allow the user to add different modules to the home page. You can see right now all of them are enabled. So if we go to our home page, you can see that we have a hero content, home content, hero posts, and widgets. So let's disable some of these. You notice that we just have hero content and widgets. So if we reload the home page, we have the hero content area and three home page widgets. This hero content here is actually set in these features down here. Let's see that options disappear based on switches which adds some pretty cool features to the WordPress theme option panel. These widget areas can actually be set in appearance widgets to allow the user to add custom widget areas to their home page. The next section in our theme options panel that we're going to be adding is this blog section. Here we just added some settings to allow the user to manage the blog. You can see here we can allow them to enable or disable the metadata, change the read more button, make it full width, change the button size, and disable or enable the tags. Quick example here, so we go to our blog section. You see that we have this learn more button. We can change that to read more, change the size to extra small, change the color to success, save those changes, reload the page, and you'll see that all the changes take place. The next section in our theme options panel is this portfolio. And this allows the user to manage the portfolio section. So in the last tutorial series, we created this portfolio section. So now we're having options to allow the user to set the columns. So right now it's set to three, as you can see here. If they change it to two, it'll automatically switch to two columns. 
We also added this option to enable or disable the filter, which is this up here. And also change the filter button size and filter button color. Next section here is the footer section. And this just gives the user the ability to add some custom text to their footer section of the theme. That's this area down here, the powered by and the copyright text. Pretty straightforward there. The social section will allow the user to add different social icons to the footer of their theme. So you can see down here we added all these different icons and they're all from Fawn Awesome. So depending on if they have URLs included, we'll show or not show the social icons. The CSS section, this allows the users to add custom CSS to the theme without having to create a child theme or edit our style sheet. And the last section here is just import and export, which allows the users to export these settings and import them into a different blog. So that's a quick little video that goes over the theme options and what to expect when you complete the theme options tutorial series.